This is what we call getting it back. Getting it back is when you get hit in MMA or boxing and it makes you upset and you try to get it back, right? And this is a prime example of Justin Gaethje getting it back. You can tell by the look on his face how hard he hit Tony Ferguson. Like that's exactly what he was trying to do. Now Justin Gaethje needs to be careful of this while fighting Max Holloway. Tony Ferguson tries to cheap shot Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje spits out some blood and Tony Ferguson tries to capitalize off of that immediately. And as soon as Tony Ferguson swung, Ferguson swung, Justin Gaethje paused like, dude, did you seriously just try to do that while I was spitting out blood? All right, I got you. That's why Justin Gaethje hit him so hard. That's why Justin Gaethje hit him with that combo with everything he had. Justin Gaethje accidentally hits Tony Ferguson in the chest through one of his combos. In the background, his coach says, I love the chest shots. Keep that. That's why Justin hit him with this combo. You can really see the technique and training of Justin Gaethje's boxing when he misses this combination against Tony Ferguson. I'll show some of the details in Justin Gaethje's training, the bobbing and weaving, the footwork, the parries, all that stuff. See right here, Justin Gaethje was hitting Tony Ferguson so cleanly and so much in this fight, he wasn't getting anything back from Tony. So that's, that's why Justin flinched a little bit before he threw that combination. He has to be sure of himself. He has to be sure against Max Holloway. This was hilarious. I, I can't play it because of copyright reasons, but go back and listen to this. The cut man go, comes up to Justin Gaethje and he's trying to dig his mouthpiece out, but he's taking way too long. And Justin Gaethje's like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop doing that. And it's hilarious. Justin Gaethje and his coach, Trevor Whitman, are like this. I can hear his coach in the background giving him orders to do, and Justin Gaethje does it immediately, instantly. Right here, Justin Gaethje's coach says, hey, pull to the right. Pull to the right now. That's what, that's what you're seeing here. Justin Gaethje immediately pulls to the right, pulls to the left, and then fires a shot. Tony Ferguson is not used to being hit like this. Either hit being hit like this or being hit this hard. He can't take it. I mean, he sits down on the chair. He instantly gets up, throws the chair to the side. His coach is facing face to face. He can't look his coaches in the eye. He's looking down and he cusses at the cameraman. He says, where's the cut man? WTF. He's just upset. And you can see it right here, it's evident. Justin Gaethje's footwork is so underrated. I mean, check it out. Tony Ferguson is so freaked out by his footwork, he doesn't know what to do. He is putting advanced footwork on Tony Ferguson. And Tony Ferguson, even though he's an elite fighter, he doesn't know what to make of this. Look at the body language of Tony Ferguson. He is so confused about what Justin Gaethje is doing. Tony Ferguson has success with an uppercut in the second round between him and Justin Gaethje. Towards the end of the fight, Tony Ferguson tries to throw the same uppercut, but Justin catches him. Now, Justin Gaethje went on Joe Rogan a couple years ago and was describing how he didn't know how Tony Ferguson didn't go to sleep. This is the shot he was talking about. And he almost catches Tony Ferguson with it again, just a couple minutes later, but he was this close. Check it out. Those who don't know, Justin Gaethje was going into the fifth round, but he had no idea. That's the thing with these fighters. They don't know what round it is. They're so focused and their adrenaline is pumping so high. They have no idea if it's the second round, the first round, the fifth round. They don't know. The Gaethje finds out he's going into the fifth round and he's so excited that he's not even tired. He could do this all night. And this is the whole thing of why Gaethje was laughing. Why he was like, wow, sweet. This, this is what he was talking about. And his coach said, hey, stop. Stop thinking like that. The last time you got comfortable, you got caught and you got stopped. Justin Gaethje's favorite combination, right hand, left hook. In that sequence, he did it a hundred times versus Tony Ferguson. And I think that's where they learned this. Tony Ferguson had his hand down, his right hand down that entire fight. And he has a pattern of doing that, keeping his right hand down. In all of Tony Ferguson's fights, he, he fights with his right hand really low. Gaethje and his coach watch the film and capitalize off of that. The right hand left hook is something Max Holloway has to be very careful for. Justin Gaethje has the best right left combination in the game. Out of all the UFC fights we've seen, this is my number one favorite fight to watch. Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje. Why? Because it's the best display of boxing and footwork I've ever seen from a lightweight in my life. The only bad thing I can say about Gaethje is why doesn't he throw jabs? He has a beautiful jab, a perfect jab. He never throws it in his fights. I don't know why he doesn't use a jab. Tony Ferguson beat up so many guys. He's ended so many people's careers. He was on a 12 fight winning streak until he fought Gaethje. Towards the end of the fight, Gaethje goes over there to try to con uh, congratulate him. But Tony Ferguson wouldn't have it. He was mad. He was upset. 
Gaethje goes to con you know, console him and hug him, and Tony Ferguson pushes him away. The cut man tries to tend to Gaethje, and then Gaethje just starts screaming. Ah! Starts going nuts. Because he didn't earn the respect to Tony Ferguson. After all that, Tony Ferguson still didn't respect him. So he walks around the cage screaming, just trying to assert his dominance, right? And he's screaming, and he's getting closer and closer to Tony Ferguson, getting louder and louder. I know what he was doing. We all know what he was doing. 